use my chemo infusion room. Right now, getting some hydration and some steroids, so I'm not so nauseous. And there's the missus. And there's my wonderful view of the hospital. Hey everyone. So, uh, welcome back. Day four of treatment. Just got done with chemotherapy. I want to give my real quick thoughts on that. Um, first thing is, I was really, really nervous going in. I didn't eat breakfast. Uh, just drank water. I actually got a little sick this morning just thinking about everything. Um, but I want to tell you, so far, so good. Uh, the nurses and doctors have been fantastic. Um, I don't have the nausea that I was afraid I was going to have yet. Stay tuned. That probably will change. But... <laughs> Um, I got my lovely Mrs. Drone, Miss Amy over here, to help me out, and I uh, really couldn't do a, anything without her, so I appreciate everybody's support, especially my beautiful wife. Mwah. So, um, but it wasn't too bad. It took about four hours. Uh, I actually took a nap, so that's good. And I fired down a snack bag of chips after I was done because I was hungry. So everything's A-OK -okay so far. But I'll keep you updated throughout the uh, weekend. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. Hi, everyone. Real quick, wanted to check in. It's been four hours since chemotherapy stopped. And uh, I'm not really nauseous a little bit but um it's more the headache i have a headache for some reason uh it was debilitating there for a little bit on a uh, scale of one to spinal tap it went up to 11 there for a little bit but i was able to get in a little bit of a nap so that was very very helpful um now the trick is to just stay hydrated because the chemotherapy is really damaging to kidneys. And so a uh, good rule of thumb from what I'm researching is if I'm not peeing every, or twice every hour, then I need to step my game up. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I got the missus and the cat with me. They're, they're with me everywhere right now, so that's a good thing. But I'll keep, uh, I'll keep you updated. I'll check in in a few more hours with a progress report. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Quick update. Now six hours after chemotherapy, and I'm feeling pretty good. I had a moment of gastrointestinal distress, which has subsided. Um, my headache that I had has subsided. It's still there, but it's more of a numb ache on a scale of one to spinal tap. It's about a two. So um, we're doing good there. Decided to come down into my favorite chair and relax a little bit and watch some TV. Um, haven't had any supper yet, but I am drinking my Powerade. Got to get my electrolytes up. That's the one thing that chemo does is it kills your kidneys, um, and you really got to keep the electrolytes up. So I'm working on that, and I'm going to be eating some supper soon. Uh, Amy went to go get some food uh, and to pick up some more medication for me. So I am doing well so far. Next update will be uh, in a little bit. Thanks, guys. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, about 24 hours since uh, the end of the chemo treatment, and I'm doing pretty good. Um, as you can see, I got the hiccups from <laughs> the chemotherapy. It's uh, one of those things where with all of the anti-nausea uh, excuse me, nausea <laughs> medication, um, it's kind of slowed my gut down, so the hiccups are trying to get my gut to start working again so it's normal 
not one that was really prevalent in <coughs> excuse me in my research uh, on the side effects of chemotherapy, but it is one that is pretty common. Uh, I'm doing okay. I went to bed last night about 10:30 and slept until 4:30 when I had to get up and take some more nausea medication. Um, I've been trying to stay ahead of the nausea so I can live my life. So today we have a couple of uh, Christmas parties, birthday parties to go to, and I am damned bound and determined to make those happen. Uh, these are events that I've been looking forward to for quite some time, and I'm not going to let a little nausea uh, leave me stranded on the sidelines. So I will update again with uh, more, informa uh, more information, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Hi everyone, hour 30 update of post chemotherapy. As you can see, I am in my robe. <laughs> I got my hair cut. I decided to go ahead, get my hair cut today, make myself feel better. I wanted to mention here real quick, uh, the haircut I got at Great Clips. Uh, super nice folks out there. Great Clips were... Uh, <clears throat> able to get my hair cut for me and get me a product called Nioxin. Nioxin is a, a shampoo and conditioner product that helps with hair loss during chemotherapy. It's, it's actually used for thinning hair, uh, just normal thinning hair, but it can be used and has been used very successfully with folks that have hair loss from chemotherapy. I have, I, I use it on my hair. Not that that's a real risk with the cisplatin that I'm on, but I use it on my hair tonight. And then there's a uh, another after treatment portion that I use to make sure that I don't lose a bunch of hair because I got to bring back the epic, ec, uh, the epic beard. So uh, check them out. Also, just to let you know, great clips, at least the great clips I went to, uh, gives free haircuts to chemotherapy patients. So if you're in need of a haircut, um, you want to go out and look nice and and uh, be presentable and feel good about yourself, uh, a haircut can really work wonders for that. So hit them up, ask them about uh, chemotherapy, uh, free chemotherapy haircuts, and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Uh, we did go to the family Christmas party and... Uh, uh, another birthday party for a nephew of mine. And I feel pretty good. I have had a few bouts of nausea, but I've been taking my medication as instructed. And um, it seems to subside and really, really help. The biggest issues I'm having right now are the hiccups and the constipation. Um... It's not a good thing. My stomach kind of hurts from that. But I know that I'll be able to survive that. So, so far so good. Uh, I haven't had really a lot of adverse side effects from the chemotherapy, the first round of chemotherapy um, this time so far. So the plan is tonight to sit down and relax, watch a little bit of uh, TV, maybe play some video games. And then uh, go, to, go to sleep, wake up in the morning, and see about church. So I will get back with you guys in the morning with another update. Until then, good night. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Just wanted to give you a real quick update. We're now at a little over the 48-hour mark, and surprisingly, I feel like a million bucks. I uh, can actually swallow the... Chemo has taken the swelling down quite a bit in my neck, which is great. Um, I know things are <laughs> improving, uh, but they're not, I'm not out of the woods yet. I'm going to be still several weeks of radiation, which are going to kick my ass. Um, but all in all, I'm doing well. The only thing that's really been major are the hiccups that are, I swear to God, are going to kill me. But <laughs> other than that, I'm, I'm doing good. So, that's a plus. Uh, we're getting ready to head out to do a few errands. 
Uh, maybe do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Not quite sure what we're going to be doing, but we need to get out of the house because we're both a little tired. And I know that uh, doing a little physical exercise will help with that, that fatigue factor. So uh, this should be my final update on the, the chemo, the first chemo treatment. And um, we'll keep you posted with anything else that's going on. Thanks for tuning in, guys.